All right, we all know Starbucks could be expensive. If you're driving through two, three times a week, you're spending 500 up to $1,000 a year. There's some clever tips and tricks you can use to kind of hack their menu and save money on the next cup of coffee. Let's break it down. Hey everyone, I'm Kyle with Rather Be Shopping. We're a website dedicated to saving you money when it comes to coupons, shopping hacks, cool ways to save at your favorite stores. And today we're talking about Starbucks. And here are nine really cool ways to save money on the next cup of joe. Tip number one, how many times have you ordered like a grande brewed coffee and you ask for the barista to, to leave your room for cream, but yet they still fill it so high you have to dump some of it out in the trash can at the condiment bar. So here's a tip. Next time you order a grande brewed coffee, order it in a venti cup. Or next time you order a tall brewed coffee, order it in a grande cup. They'll give you the same amount of coffee, sometimes even a little bit more, but then you have plenty of room to add your cream or your, your half and half. I mean, Starbucks coffee's strong. A lot of people add lots of cream. So by this way, you, you basically end up with a grande sized brewed coffee for the price of a tall. Tip number two. So if you're, if you're going out and you're sharing a, sharing a drink with a coworker or a friend, you guys both like the same drink, order this bad boy. It's like the Trenta 30 ounce size. I mean, it's like the size of a gas can. Order this, ask for a couple grande cups, or, which are 16 ounces, and split it. It's an easy way to save two bucks. Tip number three, if you're going out and drinking coffee with a bunch of friends and you're all just drinking regular brewed coffee, don't order your drinks individually. Get the French press. Depending on the, on the Starbucks, these are coming like 32 to 45 ounces. They're four to six bucks each, and you're gonna save a buttload of money by splitting your coffee by ordering a French press. A lot of people don't know these even exist at Starbucks, but they do use it. Number four, it's all about frozen water. Starbucks, they love to fill you up with ice. You know, it's, it makes more money for them. They don't have to give you as much coffee. So they fill it up to this top line typically. So next time you're getting an ice beverage, Ask for light ice. What they're gonna do is they're gonna fill it up uh, about to up to the first or second line. You're gonna get a bunch more coffee, a bunch more iced tea, lemonade, whatever it is. And it's just a no-brainer way to order an ice beverage. Light ice. Tip number five, bring in your own mug. They're gonna give you 10 cents off by using your own mug. It's a nice way to help the environment, save a little money. And you know, also you sign up for the rewards program, completely free to sign up. Even at the introductory green level, free refill on your in-store uh, purchase. It's a great way in the summertime, I'll buy, I'll buy a brewed coffee in the morning. On my way out the door, I get a free refill or make an iced coffee at home later that day. Great way to save some money. Basically, you're getting a two for one. All right, tip number six. If you're looking for a cheap caffeine fix, the absolute best way to do it is order a grande Americano in a tall cup. What that's gonna get you is three shots of espresso instead of the two that you get with a tall Americano, and you're just gonna pay a little bit less overall. It's the absolute best way to get your caffeine on. All right, tip number seven. The absolute best way to get a nice, fresh cup of coffee every time at Starbucks is to order a pour over. This works especially well if, you're, if it's like late afternoon and that Pike Place pot might have been sitting there two, three hours. It's probably not that fresh. The best way to get a fresh is to order a pour over to order a pour over, what that's gonna do is give you a nice, fresh cup of coffee every time. Okay, so that brings us to tip number eight for, for saving money at Starbucks. For some obscene reason, Starbucks sells bottles of water. Don't ever buy one of those bottles of water. Just ask for, for a cup. It's triple filtered, tastes delicious, completely free. All right, tip number nine. The absolute cheapest cup of coffee you're gonna get at Starbucks is to order a short brewed coffee, but order it in a tall cup. They're gonna fill this thing up quite a way. It's probably even more than what you'll get in here. And then you can add as much cream and, and half and half as you want. Basically make yourself a cheap latte. You know, most, most Starbucks locations, this thing's like right around a buck, buck 25. So that's the absolute cheapest cup of coffee you're gonna get at S Bucks. All right, that's all I got. I hope you found these Starbucks tips helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. Until next time, don't pay full price for one of these suckers.